This is, in essence, the thesis proposed by Bill Casing, the man who went down in history as the father of the so-called moon hoax theory. The reason I believe that uh, NASA and the government faked the moon landing was basically it was technically impossible to do it. And they simply had to come up with some sort of alternative that they felt the public would believe. Casing was a former employee at Rocketine, the company that built the engines for the rockets used in the Apollo program. Only four years after the end of the Apollo missions in 1976, Casing published a book called We Never Went to the Moon, in which he listed the various reasons why he believed it was not possible for man to have gone to the moon. Casing maintained that the entire series of the moonwalks had been filmed in a secret NASA facility instead. Casing's book caused quite a stir and was followed a few years later by a similar book written by independent researcher Ralph Rene. His book was called NASA Mooned America. In particular, Rene claimed that it would have been impossible for the astronauts to safely get across the Van Allen belts, the two radioactive belts located around the Earth that one needs to traverse in order to reach the moon. There is absolutely no way they went to the moon with what they had. In fact, there's no way they can go today. There's no way they can go tomorrow. You don't send man where you haven't sent the monkey. As time went by, the theories proposed by Casing and Rene began to gain traction. But it was only with the advent of the internet that the so-called moon hoax theory began to spread at a worldwide level. Since the internet, NASA has placed all the pictures taken by the astronauts online in high definition. All the films and TV recordings from the same missions have also been published through their official distributor, a company called Spacecraft Films. Thanks to all this material, any independent researcher can now personally examine all the original footage and pictures from the Luna missions. This has generated a flurry of highly researched books and documentaries that seriously question the fact that man has gone to the moon.